We'll begin our service. So it is so great to see everybody and all the wonderful, wonderful people uh, behind all those wonderful, wonderful computers and to say Shabbat Shalom and to say Shana Tova. My goodness, it, was, it feels like a minute ago. Well, maybe it feels like ages ago. Maybe it's both that it was just Passover and uh, you know, the week before Passover, we were still hoping that our family would be coming from all over the country to sit at our table. And uh, that was not to be. But we had marvelous, marvelous Passover seders. And uh, our TBT Passover seder was, was extraordinary in its own way, maybe maybe in, in spite of the challenges and because of the challenges. And who would have dreamed then that we'd be opening our new year also on Zoom. But here we are. And the most important thing about that is here we are. And we are ready to welcome a new year. And I, I also just have to acknowledge as we begin our service this morning that, uh, you know, as if a, a pandemic and raging wildfires and hurricanes and racial storms weren't enough. Uh, today we now mourn the death of one of the most important American Jews of our time. She was a hero to millions and she was a champion for justice and equality. RBG said, fight for the things you care about and do it in a way that will lead others to join you. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was an optimist. She had an unceasing faith in humankind's ability to better itself and to shed irrational bigotries, to come together in the pursuit of the greater good. What is that if not the purpose of our high holy days? And so we acknowledge the passing of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the woman that, that we lovingly call Yita Rachel, but Natan Vetsirulea. We say, Zecher Tzadik Livracha. The memory of the righteous will be a blessing. A righteous woman, this righteous woman, will always be remembered for blessing. And so we bring her with us today. We carry her memory with us today. As we're going to open our service, as we always do with the beautiful, beautiful music of Walter Stutzman. And uh, let's go there. Please rise for the opening prayer before the ark. Adonai Eloheinu Adonai our God. Hineni, here I am. Hinenu, here we are to greet the new year to convene with you. May we remember what we were made for, to shine love upon the world, and to care for our fellow human beings. Give us strength, O oh God, in this time of crisis in our world. 
bring peace and hope and promise to all of us who come here today to usher in the new year of 5,781. May the sun rise on us all in the new year ahead. May we embrace change in the new year ahead. May healing come to all who are ill. May faith come to all who despair. Shower us with love, O oh God. Then surely this will be a sweet new year for us all. Amen. Shana Tova. Did you rise? Did you sit? Are you distracted by things in your room? Did you create a sanctuary? I'm looking out at all of you. And you know, we're all new at this. We're new at these virtual services. We're new looking at empty chairs in the sanctuary. But I want you to know, I see you. I see, I see you, my front row people. I see you. And the tall gentlemen who tower above the others when we rise, I see you too. And I see our cantor, cantor Jen Boyle, who in very short order has become our cantor. She is a part of us. And for that, we are deeply, deeply grateful. And Walter Stutzman, we are so, so thankful for your presence this morning, and especially at our high holy days. And so I welcome you all, those who are in town, those who are out of town, those who are newcomers to TBT, those who are regulars at TBT. I welcome you to our sanctuary. It's a delight to be here in the sanctuary. It's a privilege to be here in the sanctuary. And your homes are sanctuaries too. You, you are what we fondly call the TBT Annex. And so uh, let's create sanctuary together. And upon seeing the sanctuary for the first time, it is traditional to sing the words of Matovu. So please turn to page 110. And Cantor, would you lead us in the singing of Matovu? Oh, <laughs> 
Today is different. Today is Rosh Hashanah, it's the birthday of the world. And we honor that birthday with special tunes, special liturgy, special words. So we turn now to page 141 for our Hatzi Kaddish. Uh, please listen carefully to this beautiful nusach, this beautiful tone that we set for entering into a new year. One hundred and forty two, we rise for Barhu. Page 150, we continue with the Shema. Hey, 
אליהם, אשר אנוכי מצווך, היום על לבביך, ושיננתם לבניך, ודיברתם בם, בשבתך בביתך, ובלכתך בדרך, ושלחבך ובקומך. וקשרתם להוד על ידיך, והיו לתותפות בין עיניך. וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך, למען תזכרו, ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם אדוני אלוהיכם אמת You know that at Temple Beth Tikva, we have a tradition of inviting a lay speaker to offer a sermonette. And that's a tradition that we uphold each and every year. But I think that this year is a time to uh, recreate, not just create, to recreate tradition. And so I went about thinking about who I might invite in a, in a different way, because I thought that it is uh, well overdue that we heed the words of the book of Joel, uh, which say, uh, the old shall dream dreams, but the youth shall see visions. And we need that vision more than ever. And so I turned to a, a visionary young person, uh, a student at uh, Middlebury College and um, an, an activist, and, uh, and as I said, a visionary. So please, uh, it's my delight to, to have Molly Babin uh, share some words with us today. Thank you, Molly. In early June, as anti-racist protests were mobilizing the country, a couple of my friends and I came together to brainstorm what change would look like in our own communities. Luckily, these friends, Hannah and Indira Gray, also belong to TBT. We decided that our congregation's values of generosity and justice made it a place that we could trust would want to carry out long-term changes to be actively anti-racist. We wrote a letter to the TBT leadership discussing steps that our congregation can take and 17 other TBT high schoolers and college students signed on. Ultimately, we believe that small communities can be a microcosm of the world we want to live in. And we ended the letter with a quote from editor Chris Harrison. Anti-racism must be as integral to and synonymous with our Jewish communities as reciting the Shema. When Rabbi Offner reached out to us to speak today, she asked us where we see the world as we enter the Jewish New Year, 5781. In the three months since we sent that letter, racist mascots have been retired, some police departments have been defunded, and more people around me feel comfortable talking about race. At the same time, I see a country where the major consequences of systemic racism, such as police brutality, racial wealth disparities, and segregation are still pervasive. It is clear that we need more than small and symbolic changes to transform our country. And we as, as Jewish people have the responsibility and skills to participate in the difficult work necessary. This past August, I attended a three-day virtual convention about anti-Semitism with the National Coalition Building Institute. I learned about the ways anti-Semitism has tragically functioned to divide Jewish people from other marginalized groups. 
Beyond that, however, I learned about the power of standing together and the power of listening. We as Jewish people have requests of how we want people to show up for us and what we never want to happen again. Within and outside of our community, people with marginalized identities also have requests and needs and have already done the work of outlining what they want from allies. There are thousands of articles and books that Jews of color and other people of color have written sharing their visions. In the training, I learned that building coalitions with other oppressed groups requires sharing our own needs, but more importantly, stepping back, listening, and showing up to support others' efforts without seeking recognition or attention. This takes humility and a willingness to be vulnerable becoming aware of our own subconscious prejudices and the ways that we benefit from systems of privilege. During the training, we also discussed the anti-Semitic instances that have made some Jewish people feel alienated from racial justice protests. And we confirmed the importance of staying in the room and in the struggle, even during disagreements and moments of tension. Ultimately, to take part and long-lasting change, we have to commit real time and energy to listen to people with marginalized identities outside of and within our Jewish community and follow their lead. My peers and I received several responses to the letter that we sent to TBT leadership. One leader wrote, we recognize that TBT has work to do every single day to live up to our ideals of inclusion, social justice, and anti-racism. Another leader commented on the faith that we have in TBT to bring these ideas up. Ultimately, after growing up here, it is clear to us that our community is ready to be vulnerable, have an open mind, and commit to taking action. Thank you, Molly, for your inspiring words and your, and your invitation, your invitation to us to, to, to move forward. And I'm gonna invite people if, uh, if, if Molly caused you to reflect, as I know she did me, uh, put something in the chat and, and let her know. And uh, she'll be appreciative and uh, we indeed are all appreciative appropriate too that we turn in our service now uh, to the words surrounding the Micha Mocha, which is that promise of redemption. Uh, may it come soon. We it turn to page 163 as we continue in our service. The Israelites walked right into the Reed Sea. They did it one foot at a time. What were they thinking about as the water rose up their legs, chilling their hearts, advancing toward their open mouths? We are doing our own walk today, here. Now, one foot at a time. And on our better days, it's forward. Alone, I can't reach the far shore without drowning. Somehow I don't go under. The person to my right holds me up. Something I can't see holds him up. Blessed is the source of help so often unexpected. I step forward, even though the sea is vast. Where is it? Where is it that Israel gets the courage, the chutzpah, to go on believing in redemption, to sing Micha Mocha in a world that knows mass hunger racial upheaval, political exile, poverty, war, and disease. How can Jews testify to hope and human value 
when we have been continuously persecuted and hated and expelled and destroyed. We do so by remembering the exodus. We remember the stories of our slavery. Remember those stories and you will never stop working for freedom. Remember the fear of coming to the edge of the sea and self-doubt will never defeat you. Remember when desperation turned into timbrels and celebration and you will never let go of hope. Remember these words of the Baal Shem Tov. Forgetfulness leads to exile. Remembrance is the secret of redemption. We remember the singing and we sing right now. Page 164, Micha Mocha. Page 166, as we prepare for our tefillah, we heed the words of Rabbi Nachman of Bratzlav. Make every effort to pray from the heart. Even if you don't succeed, the effort is precious in the eyes of the Eternal One. We rise for our Amidah.
Please be seated as we turn to page 174. And I'm afraid to say that we have arrived at that most heart wrenching of prayers the Unitana Tokef, the prayer where we say, Who shall live and who shall die, and in what ways and at what time, and I have more people in the congregation coming up to me suggesting that we omit that prayer and that we particularly omit that prayer this year. We're already in so much pain, we don't need more. But having our eyes wide open is a bomb, is healing. Having awareness helps lead us to where we hope to be. And so, indeed, on this day, we say, Uvechen, nevertheless, we shall proclaim the power of this day. It is a day whose holiness awakens deepest awe and it inspires highest praise for your dominion, O God, because your throne is a throne of love and your reign is a reign of truth. <laughs> In truth, you are judge and plaintiff, counselor and witness. You inscribe and seal. 
You record and recount. You remember all that we have forgotten. And when you open the book of memories, it speaks for itself. For every human hand leaves its mark, an imprint like no other. Uva Shofar Gadol Yitaka, page 176. And so a great Shofar will cry out to Kia, and a still small voice will be heard. Angels in a whirl of fear and trembling will say, Behold the day of judgment, for they too are judged. In your eyes, even they are not blameless. All who come into the world pass before you like sheep before their shepherd. As a shepherd considers its flock when it passes beneath the staff, so you count and consider each of our lives. You set bounds. You decide destiny. You inscribe judgments. On Rosh Hashanah, it is written. And on Yom Kippur, it is sealed. On Rosh Hashanah it is written and on Yom Kippur it is sealed. How many will pass away from this world? How many will be born into it? Who will live and who will die? Who will reach the ripeness of age? Who will be taken before their time? Who by fire and who by water? Who by war and who by beast? Who by famine and who by drought? who by earthquake and who by plague, who by strangling and who by stoning, who will rest and who will wander, who will be tranquil and who will be troubled, who will be calm and who tormented, who will live in poverty and who in prosperity, who will be humbled and who exalted, but through return to the right path, through prayer, and righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. Science and faith, often considered contradictory, but they are not. We have faith in science, and science has regard for faith when we can put them together appropriately. Page 181, we continue with this responsive reading. I speak these words, but I don't believe them. The Lord God formed man from the dust of the earth. Clearly, there's no scientific foundation. You know how we are formed. You remember that we are dust. And human beings are the gloriously complex product. Remember that we are dust. Of evolution from single-celled organisms. Remember that we are dust. And as for our end, well, no need to dwell on that right now. By the sweat of your brow shall you get bread to eat 
until you return to the ground. So much to do and so many ways to keep busy. For from it were you taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. For what would it mean if it were true after all? Page 182. We who are mortal, our origin is dust, and so is our end. We wear out our lives to get our bread like broken vessels, like withered grass, like a flower that must fade, a shadow moving on, a cloud passing by, near dust on the wind, a dream that flies away. Together, but for you, you ever living sovereign, sovereign, time has, has no, no limits. limits. Your, Your presence, presence unbounded by days and years, and is everywhere. everywhere. A glorious mystery none can decipher. Your name is worthy of you, and you are worthy of your name, and our name you have linked with yours. Page 184, we rise for Kedusha. My goodness, I, um, you know, I, I, I've never, I've never been at our services before. They're, they're not bad. Uh, Cantor, Boyle, that just brought me to tears. And I know uh, 
with the Katusha comes Lador Vador. And Lador Vador from generation to generation, uh, we sing God's praises. And we, we need the, the generations to sing God's praises. So I'm, I'm just gonna ask if you unmute yourself for a second. Um, Evan Stein, are you, are you there? And David Stein, are you there? And Noah Stein, are you there? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, yeah, true. We're here. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here because uh, that's how we get to honor La Dorvador. So, so please come, come up to the Bima and share with us your gifts and the beautiful prayer. Carrie, we can roll. Okay. Please be seated. Take a deep, deep breath after that beautiful Kedusha. And we're shifting gears now, too, as we move to the service for the sounding of the shofar. The shofar service actually has three sections, and each of those three sections has three sets of blasts, and we're separating them. They appear at different times through our service so that we can wake you up with the shofar blasts. That's their goal, that's their job. So we're doing our job if it wakes you up. Each of the three sections has a different value connected to it. The first, Malchuyot, is a call for leadership. And we pray for wondrous leadership to unite our world, 
and to lead us forward. And the second section is called Zichronot, and it's a prayer thanking God for memory. And we pray to remember those who came before us and how they were able to move forward. And the third section, Shofarot, is the, the call for hope and redemption that we too may yet redeem our world. The first set, Malchuyot, uh, is introduced with what we call the great Aleinu, a very special Aleinu that you can find on page 202. And so I would ask you indeed to please rise for the great Aleinu. As the shofar blowers take their places, we recite the blessings for the shofar. Page 206. And yes, it is true we are alone here in the sanctuary. And yes, it is true that it is not a good idea to blow the shofar in the sanctuary. And so in a moment, we're going to take you outside for our shofar blowing service. But first, our blessing. for the sounding of the shofar. Baruch atah Adonai shomea kol truat amo Yisrael barach amim. Blessed are you in our lives, Adonai. You hear with love the shofar, true voice of your people Israel. Tekiah. Shavarehim. Truah. 
ki agdala May it be God's will to hear our cry, to hear our voice, to hear the blast of the shofar sounding for hope, for healing of our broken world, for redemption in the year to come. Amen. Page 220. Yehiyu l'ratzoni m'reifi v'hegyon libi l'fanecha Adonai tzori v'goali May the words of our mouths and the blasts on our shofar, the meditations of our heart and the voices of our souls be acceptable to you, soul of eternity, our rock and our Redeemer. Bless you. Amy and Steve, thank you. And thank you to everyone. I really feel the, the, the spirit 
I feel the spirit. So uh, let's keep going because uh, we have an Avinu Malkenu to come and a Torah service. And so, uh, Carrie, thank you. Thank you for driving this ship. And uh, we can continue with our video. May the maker of peace above make peace for us, for all Israel, and for all who dwell on earth. Together we say, Amen. Our service continues with a reflection before Avinu Malkenu that you can find on page 222. Avinu Malkenu, loving father, infinite power, gentle, forgiving, lofty, inscrutable. Avinu Malkenu, compassionate mother, omnipotent Lord, comforting presence, fathomless mystery, Avinu Malkenu, our rock and redeemer, life of the universe, close to us always, impossibly far, Avinu Malkenu, embracing, confounding, accepting our frailty, decreeing our end, Avinu Malkenu. None of these are true, none of them are you. And yet we stand as those before us have stood, summoned to judgment, longing for love. Avinu Malkenu. May these words be a bridge. They come from our hearts. May they lead us to you as we rise for Avinu Malkenu.
Page 267, it's time for the second set of shofar blasts, Zichronot, and we praise the God of memory with this reflection. God of remembrance, remember the covenant of our ancestors, we affirm it today. Remember we are a people of noble ideals, help us attain them. Remember all your people, all the nations on the road to peace. Bless their efforts. Remember with mercy the binding of Isaac, the sorrow of Sarah, Abraham's words, Hineni, here I am. Our memory fades, but you remember all that we have forgotten. Your presence is a throne where all things matter and nothing is lost. Together we say, Baruch Ata Adonai, Zocher Habrit. Blessed are you, Adonai, you remember the covenant, you remember us as we rise for the sounding of the shofar. Tekia! Shavarim Truah! Tekiaha, Tekiaha, Shavarim, Tekiaha, Tekiaha, Truaha. Tekiaha, Areshet Zafatenu, let the wishes of our lips and yours be pleasing before you, God Most High. Tekiah, we call, lovingly, favorably, receive our prayers of Zichronot. Amen. Page 226, we turn in our Machzorim for Seder Kriyata Torah, the service for the reading of the Torah. We bring the Torah into our midst. This very Torah that comes out of this ark, it is our constant in this world of change, we hold fast to the Torah. When first we appeared on the stage of world history, it was a book that was in our hands. This book, this sacred scroll, and we were told this is very near to you in your mouth and in your heart. And we were told you can surely do it. And then we learned this is where heaven and earth touch. Please rise for the Torah. Yeah, 
There we are. Um, it's time for the Torah service. We've got the Torah open before us at this time, and we have it open to Bereshit, to the the story of the the creation of the world. Uh, we are at the beginning, the very beginning of the book of Genesis, and I. Um, invite you to share along. You can find the Torah blessing on page 230, and you can find the actual text on page 330. But having said that, unless you want that English translation, you really don't have to go to the text because we're going to put the Torah right in front of your eyes. And so uh, for the first time in all the years, uh, you're going to see what our Torah chanters see. Uh, this is this is uh, this is a, a, a photo of the of the text of the Torah. It's from this is from the TBT commissioned Torah. Uh, you can tell because every Torah is handwritten and every every sofer has their own handwriting, and so you could you can kind of tell by the way the letters are, are written that this is the TBT commissioned Torah. And uh, we're going to have this, uh, we have two aliyahs today and the first aliyah is going to be chanted. The, the Torah reader is Jill Karamanis. So Jill, would you just say hi? So we can see you pop up on our screens. Hello everyone, Shana Tava. Oh, beautiful. I'm so glad you're here. And Aiden Chorney, uh, can you say hello? Hi. <laughs> okay, so Aiden is ready. Aiden is going to do the, the blessing over the Torah in honor of the fact that he just became a bar mitzvah in this past year. And uh, what a wonderful way to show that he really is a bar mitzvah, that he's eager to come back and share this blessing for us again. So Aiden will do the blessing after I call him forward uh, by his Hebrew name, and then Jill will chant our, our Torah portion of uh, the creation of the first and second day. Ya Amod Aiden Ben Pinchas Vakim La Alia Rishona. Barhu at Adonai Haborach. Baruch Adonai Barak Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Havarak Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim. Benatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Bereshit bara Elohim, et hashamayim ve'et ha'aret, ba'aret, ha'it ha'tohu ba'vohu ba'choshech al'pnei tehom, ve'ruach Elohim ve'rachavet al'pnei hamayim. Bayoma Elohim, ye he or by he or by your Elohim at a or keto by a fear Elohim, vain a or vain a horse by ye grow Elohim, la or yom, the la horse. Kara Laila, Vaihi Era Vaihi Voker, Yom Echad, Vayome Elohim, 
both to, to Aiden and and to Jill that was fantastic and love that 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 chant that trope that's special for the high holidays and a reminder of uh, of that that creation day and the world and how we have to protect it. So we're going to go on to uh, the second Aliyah and uh, I'll ask Carrie to share the second Torah reading and I'm going to ask uh, Jody and Stu to unmute themselves and say hello so we know you're here. Hello. hello. Oh good. Love those voices. So uh, Stu is our um, Valkria. He's going to be chanting the second portion. And uh, Jody is going to do the bracha when I call her forward by her Hebrew name. Ta'amod Yosef abat Avraham v'sara la'aliyah Baruch and I have the Rafael Lamba head. 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 Baruch and I have Amen. By Omer Elohim, Yishritsu Hamayim, Sheret Nefesh Haya, Vaov, Yaofev Al Haaretz, Al Pene, Rekia Shamayim, By Ivra Elohim, Et hataninim hagadolim ve kol nefesh hachaya haromeshet asher shartsu hamayim leminehem ve eight kol ov kanav leminehu. We are Elohim, Kito. By Varech, O Tam, Elohim, Lemor, Peru, Oravu, Umilu, et Hamayim, Vayamim, Vahaov, Irevaharetz. Vai hi ere, vai hi voker, yom hamishi. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu torat emet, vehaye olam nata betocheinu, Baruch ata Adonai, noten ha Torah. Amen. Yeah, we can we can uh, un 
share that screen, but oh, that's the best screen that we've got now. That was a beautiful job. Love those smiles. Mishpachat Weinzimmer Ambrosino. Very nice. It's so well done. Thank you. And uh, now we are going to turn to the Haftorah portion. And just a reminder for people that we don't have the Haftorah text on the screen. You do have the Haftorah text in your, in your uh, Machzorim if you want to follow along. The blessing is on page 247. The Haftarah is on page 250. And uh, I got to tell you, Ellie and Becca and Stu and Jody, I, I sort of don't want to move on. I just am enjoying watching your family. It's so great. Um, but we are going to move along to our Haftorah. So I'm going to ask Josh Broder, would you give a shout out? And uh, maybe we'll even spot. Shout out, Tova. Ah, there he is. Okay, we're going to um, spotlight Josh because... Uh, he's got a haftarah for us from the book of First Samuel. It's the story of Hannah. And, uh, you know, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah prayed with her lips, but she didn't make a lot of noise. And sometimes the most sincere prayers are not about making a lot of noise. And we can learn a lot from Hannah and uh, from Josh Broder as he shares today's Haftarah. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bin Bi'im Tovim V'ratzav divrehem ha'ne'emarim be'emet Baruch atah Adonai Ha'bocher b'torah U'b'moshe avdo U'b'yisrael amo U'b'yei ha'emet v'atzedek Vayehi ish echad min haramatayim Sofim mehar Ephraim Ushemo Elkanah Ben Yerucham Ben Elihu they <laughs> Ve'alah ha'ish ha'hu me'iro me'amim yamima lehishtachot uz be'oach l'aronai tzevaot v'shiloh v'sham sh'nei v'nei eli ha'mi Upin chaz kohanim ladonai Vayehi hayom vayizbach elkana Vinatan lefina ishto Ulecho b'neha u'bnoteha manu Ochanah yitain mana achat apayim ki efchanah ahev varunai sagor rachmah beki asata zarata gam kaam baavur hadima. 
Kim Sago or Aronai be Ad Rahma Behen Yase Shana Shana Alanta Bebe Adonai Ken Abi Sena Bati Pebelo Toha Bayomer La Elkana Isha Kana Lameti Ki Elame Lo Tokali Elame Yarea Livabeha Halo Anohi Tola Measara Bani Batakam Kana Asare Akwa Beshilo Vyatare Shato Bayli Hatohe Yoshev Al Hakise Al Mezuzot Hechal Adonai Vehi Marat Nafesh Vetik Palel El Adonai Ubaho Tivke Vati Dor Neder Vatomar Adonai Tevaot Imraha Tir Ehe Bani Amitecha Uzakartani Bilo Tishkah et Amatecha Benatata la Amatecha Zera Anashim Unetativ Ladonai Koyeme Chayav Umora lo Yale al Rosho Behaya ki hir bata lehit palel ifne arunai beli shomer et ki ha vechana ki mitaberet aliba rak sefate ha naot bekola lo yeshame ha. Vayal Shabeha Eli Lish Hira Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melach HaOlam Tzurko HaOlamim Tzadik Bechol HaDorot HaEl HaNeeman HaOmer Biosei Hamidaber Umkayim שכל דבר אהב אמת וצדק. נאמן אתה הוא אדוני אלוהינו, ונאמנים דבריך, ודבר אחד מדבריך, אחור לא ישוב ריקם, כי אל מלך נאמן ורחמן אתה, ברוך אתה אדוני, האל הנאמן בכל דבר אהב. Rachem al tiyon ki hi beit chayenu Bila aluvat nefesh troshia bimhera biyameinu Baruch ata Adonai Metameach tiyon bebaneha Samecheheinu Adonai Eloheinu Be'eliyahu hanabi avdecha Ubemalachu beit avid meshichecha Bim he raya vaho via geli benu, al kisolo yesev zar, bilo yin chalu od achirim et kivodavu, ki beshem kochecha nishpata lo, shelo yechene ro li olam va ehed, baruch ata Adonai, magehin david. Al ha Torah, ve al ha vodah, ve al ha nevi'im, ve al yom ha Shabbat ha zeh, ועל יום הזיכרון הזה, שנתת לנו, אדוני אלוהינו, לקדושה ולמנוחה, לכבוד ולתפארת. על הכל, אדוני אלוהינו, אנחנו מודיעים לך ומברכים אותך, 
יפרח שמך בפי חוכי תמיד לעולם ועד, ופרחה אמת וקיים לעד. פרוך על תא אדוני, פרוך על כל הארץ, מקדש השבת בישראל, ביום הזיכרון. Well, Yesha Koach, and thank you very much, Josh. That, that was an awesome Haftarah. And now we are going to um, spotlight the cantor as we uh, transition to our Misha Beirach. And let's take a moment. Uh, cantor, you want to just uh, say hello? Hello, Shana Tova. Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, Shana Tova to you too. And uh, we're going to turn to our Misha Beirach and I invite everybody to focus upon the names of loved ones in need of healing. We certainly all together are, are focusing on the need for healing for those frontline workers who, who are saving our lives every day. And uh, as we sing our Misha Berach, please add your own uh, personal names of those who are in need of this prayer into the chat. Uh, Misha Berach. Misha Berach, Avoteinu, Mekor Habracha, Thank you, Cantor. So now this is the time when I saunter up to the bima and rustle my papers and let you know that I'm, I'm going to begin to talk a little. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Because um, as I think about the, the high holidays, um, I also think about some of the things that are missing, um, some, some very significant, some not terribly significant. But I think about how uh, in the world, the way it used to be, the high holidays also meant the World Series. And this year, the World Series has been postponed to well after Yom Kippur. Uh, the Broadway theaters are dark right now, but their music is very much alive. And that, that famous Broadway show about going to the World Series is a show we can all use right now, for it's a show about success in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. The Yankees, yeah, Peter Chorney, I know you're happy maybe, but the Yankees are once again in the hunt for the World Series. And damn Yankees, a phrase uttered by underdogs the world over, 
is the title of the show that is a story of hope. As the Washington Senators faithful sing, you gotta have hope. Mustn't sit around and mope. What's the use of crying? Why should we curse? After all, it's gotta get better because things can't get worse. Rosh Hashanah is our sacred day of relentless hope. Just, just your showing up today is an act of hope. Even if we were celebrating our holiday in person, gathering for Rosh Hashanah is a testimonial to hope. We say every, every year on this day, we say Shana Tova. It takes hope and courage and fortitude to declare it to be a Shana Tova. That simple phrase is demonstration of our chutzpah, that we can dare to hope, that we can make this year, this 5,781st try, the year when good things, better things will happen. Hope doesn't mean that we're not realistic. The tasks before us are daunting. This virus is still an incredible unknown. And racism, which was laid bare not only by the murder of George Floyd, but by the way the virus challenged us to look at ourselves and examine our lives is indeed systemic and changing our society. It's no easy task. But hope is not something you pull off the shelf when things are looking up. Hope is not cultivated by successes and ease in life. Hope is what is required right now. And fortunately, throughout our long history, the Jewish people has amassed a great well of hope from which we need to draw today. The Jewish people has demonstrated a profound will to emerge, in the words of Rabbi David Hartman of blessed memory, even from the abyss of human brutalization and depravity to imagine and to build a vibrant and creative future. We Jews are the masters of hope born out of despair. Af al pichen, we say, against all odds, we prevail. Rabbi Leo Beck called Judaism a religion not of ethical monotheism, but of ethical optimism. Rabbi Beck was himself a German Jew who had been deported to Theresienstadt and who chose to stay with his community in the concentration camp despite attempts to attain his freedom. Af al pichen, in spite of everything, I choose hope. Anne Frank, with all the conviction that her 13-year-old body and soul could muster, said, in spite of everything, I believe that people are really good at heart. Did Rabbi Beck or Anne Frank make, make such remarkable declarations based on the evidence of their Nazi-dominated world? On the contrary, dreaming of a different world, they spoke such sentiments anyway, in spite of all evidence. Ein brera, we say in Hebrew, we have no choice. We must summon all hope. We are hopeful that in the year 5781, we will see a vaccine for COVID-19. We are hopeful that in this year ahead, we will bend that proverbial arc towards justice. We are hopeful that our nation can and will heal, that political differences will no longer divide us, but enrich us. Do not confuse hope with naivete. Hope is a category of transcendence that prevents a person from allowing the immediate reality, the what is, 
to be used as the sole criterion for determining what might be. Hope enables us to conceive of a future that is different from the present. Afal picha, in spite of what we know about our world so far. Hope is the very first word on the very first page of the book of life that is now open before us. This holy day is the spiritual teacher that returns every September and vehemently insists that tomorrow can be better than today. Some of us are eager to believe it. Others are reluctant. But Rosh Hashanah is our tradition's firm stand against giving up or giving in. It comes bearing gifts. And the gift is a message. Try once more. A new year, a new opportunity, a new chance. The Hebrew word for hope we know is tikva. In the Hebrew Bible, we find the word tikva used most frequently, 12 times, where? In all places, we find it in the book of Job, the book about a man who struggles over his hopeless situation. Hebrew is a carefully constructed language. Every word can be traced to a three-letter root that provides insightful linguistic commentary. Tikva can be traced to the word kav, which means rope. So what does a rope have to do with hope? And we find our answer in the book of Joshua. We see that word. And it's when Rahab, the Canaanite woman who lived in Jericho, helped to save the two Jewish scouts. And she helped save them by lowering them down the walls of Jericho with a tikva chut, a scarlet rope. That rope saved the lives of the scouts. Given that story, it's now evident how we see the relationship between hope and a rope. The rope is a lifeline. It is that thing we grip when we need to be pulled up to a better place or lowered down to a safer one. Hope is our lifeline. Hundreds of us have managed to come here today to welcome the new year. Hundreds of people means thousands of hopes. Hope for the healing of bodies and spirits, hope for healthier relationships, hope for a more civil society, for the dismantling of hatreds, the end of racism, the end of anti-Semitism, the embrace of science and reason and truth, hope for a vaccine, for travel, for touch, for love, for success, for clarity of purpose, for meaningful work, for discipline, for willpower, for patience, for forgiveness and strength, for understanding, openness, connection, and happiness. The poet Adrian Rich asked, what would it mean to stand on the first page to the end of despair? We are invited to stand on that page. This past year is one we are eager to leave behind. After all, we quit. Hindsight is 2020. And thankfully, 5780 is now history. A disaster, and we have had more than our share, a disaster comes from the words dis star, as in bad star or bad fortune. But disasters also bring shifts. As the writer Rebecca Solnit says, a disaster changes the world and our view of it. Our focus shifts and what matters shifts. What is weak breaks under new pressure. 
and what is strong holds and what was hidden emerges. Maybe, maybe just maybe, the best is yet to come. Elie Wiesel, who certainly knew his share of hopeless situations, once said, one must wager on the future. I believe it is possible, in spite of everything, to believe in friendship in a world without friendship, and even to believe in God in a world where there has been an eclipse of God. We must not give in to cynicism. To save the life of a single child, no effort is too much. To make a tired old man smile is to perform an essential task. To defeat injustice and misfortune, if only for one instant, for a single victim, is to invent a new reason to hope. In Tractate Shabbat, one of the great scholars, Rava, suggests that when we die, and it is our judgment day, we will come before God and, and God will ask us four questions. One, were you honest in business? Two, did you devote yourself to family? Three, did you make time for sacred study? And one more, the fourth, Tsipita Lishua. Literally, did you anticipate redemption? In other words, did you live with hope? May we enter the new year with hope in our hearts that we might witness the world of our dreams. Can you hear that song? May it be God's will. Amen. Our last calls on the shofar. 
our final set of blasts. This time, a call of hope. And we hear the promise of redemption. Eloheinu velohe avotenu ve'imotenu. God revealed to us and to our fathers and mothers before us. God of revelation. Play the song of our freedom on the great shofar. Let your banner fly over the gathering of our exiles. Bring back the dispersed. Heal the sick. Let those who are scattered find their way home. Let joyful songs of Zion greet us in Jerusalem, your holy city, the place of our people's eternal happiness. Page 284, we say our blessing together. Baruch Ata Adonai, Shomea Kol Truat Amo Yisrael Barach Amin. Blessed are you in our lives, Adonai. You hear with love the shofar, true voice of your people Israel, as we rise for the sounding of the shofar. Tekiaha. Shavarim Truaha. Tekiaha. Tekiaha Shavarim Tekiaha Tekiaha Truaha Tekiagadola On Rosh Hashanah, the long tekiah recalls the moment when the Torah itself was given to us. And therefore, it sounds a triumphant conclusion to the last of our shofar blasts. And we thank you for the gift of hope. Amen. Page 286, we are nearing the end of our service this morning as we come to our Siyum HaShacharit, our concluding prayers. Aleinu, please rise. Page 291, our reflection before Kaddish. Yesh kochavim sho'oram magia artsa. There are stars up above so far away we only see their light long, long after the star itself is gone. 
So it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. And at this time, I'd like to ask those in the first 30 days of mourning, still in Shloshim, if you would please rise. And those who died in the past year, who have passed away since last Rosh Hashanah, please rise. And those observing a yurt site, would you please rise? As our thoughts turn to our loved ones, whom death has taken from us in recent days, and those who died at this season in years past. Our hearts open as well to the wider circle of loss in our community and wherever grief touches the human family. Zichronam Livracha, may their memories be a blessing in this new year and always. As we turn together to page 292 and all rise for Kaddish. Yidgadal v'yidgadash shemei Rabba, v'yalma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei, v'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agala uv'izman kari v'imru amen. Yehe shemei Rabba mevorach le'olom ololmei olmaya, v'yidbarach v'yishtabach v'yidpa'ar v'yidramam v'yidnaseh, Viet Adar, Viet Alev, Viet Alal, Shemei de Kudasha Barichu. Laela Ulaela Mikol Birchata Vashirata. Tushbechata Venechemata. Da Ami Ram Bialma Vimru Ame. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya. Vachayi Malenu Vial Kol Yisrael Vimru Ame. Ose Shalom Bimurmav. Hu Ya Ase Shalom. Aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'al kol Yoshvei Tevel, v'imru ane. May the source of peace bestow peace on all who mourn, and may we be a source of comfort to all who are bereaved, as together we say, Amen. Before our closing song, I want to thank you all for being here this morning, for being present, for helping us bring in a new year. And uh, Cantor and I look forward to seeing many of you at our children's service this afternoon. And then our outdoor Tashlich service at 3.30, so uh, that will be very special. And we'll see you back here in the sanctuary tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We're gonna turn now to page 294. The Hebrew words are a little tricky, but you just have one and it's easy. The word is amen. I think you can handle it. I young, I young, I young, I'm saying you, I young, I'm saying you. Shit.
Yehi ratzon milfanecha Adonai Eloheinu ve'elohei avotenu ve'imotenu. Shati chadesh aleinu shana tova umetuka. Our God and God of our ancestors, eternal God of all generations, may your presence in our lives this new year renew our spirits and renew our strength. Please God, may it be a good year. Please God, may it be a sweet one for all of us, for all the world. Amen. Amen. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova, indeed. As we say farewell this morning, it's been really, really, really nice to be together. So um, take your time leaving. We're going we're gonna to open up the chat and just let people leave as they wish to leave. But an important announcement first, just a reminder that our family service is at 1 o'clock on Zoom and that at 3 o'clock this afternoon we have our, our Tashlich service and that's going to be um, in person. So just remember to wear your masks. And uh, those of you who have shofarot, please bring the shofarot with you. And know too that Nancy and I are, are, are sad today not to be able to welcome you into our home for our uh, traditional open house. Uh, but that's the way it is, and um, that's not the way it's going to continue to be, because uh, you got to have hope. So, Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Thank you for your messages of hope, Rabbi. Shana Tova. Thank you. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Thank you for a beautiful service, Rabbi, once again, and Cantor. It was beautiful. Thank you. Look forward to meeting you, Cantor. <laughs> yeah, in person, Cantor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, Ron and Amy. Hi, guys. Hey. How are you? Beautiful, beautiful service, as always. Kanahara, right? In a, in a challenging time to be hopeful. Yeah. And and therefore in a most important one. Yeah. yeah. Should not have offered Minnesota. Ah. Ah, Jay Beninov. Glad oh. you're with us. <laughs> and from California. And from California. Hey. Where's Ka oh Nancy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness is right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lashana Tova from Boulder, Colorado. Whoa, brother. Hi, brother. Nancy. Brother. 